and welcome to the show. So, America is still undecided. It looks tonight as if Joe Biden is edging ever closer to the White House. But Donald Trump isn't going down without a fight. He is claiming, without evidence, that the election is being stolen. This is a fraud on the American public. This is an embarrassment to our country. A fraud? To count ballots? That is not what is going on. Joe Biden has won more votes than any presidential candidate in history. When the count is finished, we believe we will be the winners. Will it be Grandpa Simpson on Coke? <laughs> or Grandpa Simpson on ketamine? <laughs> One thing we do know, the final week of campaigning was hilarious. Trump accused Biden of everything. Joe Biden will shut down your economy. Increase your taxes. Ship your jobs to China. Indoctrinate your children. No school. No Easter's. No weddings. No Fourth of July. No Christmas. No Thanksgiving. No graduations. No future. No air conditioning. No heating. No electricity. Other than that, you're gonna have a wonderful life. <laughs> so desperate. No birthdays. No rainbows. No cakes. No blowjobs. <laughs> You go for Biden, he'll kill your gran and fuck your dog. He, <laughs> he was literally begging for votes. Can I ask you to do me a favor? Suburban women, will you please like me? <laughs> and how did that go? He's a pig. Uh, if he he's walked up, he's, he's a, a pig. We a call pig. it a pig. Uh, if he walked up to me and put his hand anywhere, he'd get knocked out. <laughs> He steps to me, he's going to a and &E. She wasn't alone. Some women would rather have piles than a Trump presidency. <laughs> How did they find that out? So, Donald Trump, are you a fan? I'd rather have lumps hanging out of my asshole. <laughs> you down as a no. <laughs> Some women went further and made this video to encourage voting. So... You really not gonna vote? Get, get your booty to the pole, 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 yeah. Do we get your attention? Get your vote, vote, get your vote, vote. Yeah. You got my attention. I mean, you've written vote on your ring face. You're making it clap. Don't laugh. Apparently, Boris is doing this for the lockdown. <laughs> Did you see Trump's daughter? She certainly inherited his flair for talking bollocks. Look who she compared him to. Winston Churchill said it was the nation that had the lion's heart. I just had the luck to give it the roar. How much does this remind you of our president and this movement? I think my ass puts it best. <laughs> the... Ivanka wasn't finished. He gave us the roar. He gave us all the roar. No. He gave you corona. <laughs> Did you see how packed his rallies were? <laughs> four more years. They'll be lucky to last four weeks. It was <laughs> so reckless. According to a Stanford report, Trump's rallies may have led to 700 COVID deaths and 30,000 extra cases. He risked their lives to talk shit. I mean, did you hear his campaign slogan? It wasn't exactly new. It's called Make America Great Again, Again. <laughs> Who's his speechwriter? Mickey Flanagan. <laughs> <laughs> if you have to make something great again, again, then you fucked up, up. <laughs> All Trump seems to have done is called Biden names. Joe Biden. Sleepy Joe, 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 you sleepy guy. <laughs> Why didn't Biden hit back? There's so many names he could have called Trump. The bullshit bandit. <laughs> the White House what's it? <laughs> the orange cunt. But 
Clearly, there are options. But he would never do that. Joe Biden isn't exactly dynamic. He is a 77-year-old man who gets distracted by trains. And they move jobs overseas to sell goods back to the United States. And here comes the train that he tried to make sure didn't continue to run. No, that's the commuter. All right. No. That's the... He's doddery as fuck. He can't even finish a thought. COVID has taken this year, just since the outbreak, has taken more than 100 years. Look, here's the lives. It's just, it's a, when you think about it. <laughs> Christ, Obama's slogan was, yes, we can. His is, where am I? <laughs> what does his ass look like this? <laughs> I mean, look at him quoting the Declaration of Independence. We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the... Go, you know the, you know the thing. <laughs> equal! All men and women are created equal! <laughs> Fuck me! Even when he does get his words out, he gets it wrong. Listen to him talking about domestic violence. No man has a right to raise a hand to a woman in anger other than in self-defense, and that's rarely ever occurs. And so we have to just change the culture, period, and keep punching at it and punching at it and punching at it. <laughs> we need to knock domestic violence the fuck out! <laughs> and here's my Minister for Women, Johnny Depp. It was... <laughs> It was such a bleak choice for America. Let's be honest, even people who voted for Biden weren't exactly fans. Of course you're not gonna vote for Trump. However, you have this candidate that you also don't really want to vote for. So would you say your vote is more for a vote against Donald Trump rather than for Joe Biden? Yeah, I would say so. He's the lesser of two evils. I'm voting for him, sadly. But I really, really don't want to vote for Biden. I really don't. Voting for Biden is like taking a shit on the side of the road. You don't want to do it. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> do you know what I mean? You've never seen someone in a hedge going, my choice. <laughs> my will. <laughs> Trump's been the most idiotic president ever. He'd be nothing without his teleprompter. See if you can spot the moment when it stopped working. You can shoot me, but you'll have to kill us all. Something. <laughs> and when his teleprompter's off, he's got nothing. I know words. I have the best words. Grammatical. Uh, look. It's absolutely <laughs> Puerto Rico. We, I, we. Take a look at the oranges. Uh, the oranges of the heron. A lot of Renaissance <laughs> Island. Statistics. Statistics. Wishing you a beautiful uh, look. Applicable. And anomalous. <laughs> really, an anomalous. Logic and Sephahide. Who did judge? <laughs> and yet, despite the fact he can't talk, Trump had the audacity to claim he'd invented a new word. I, I think one of the greatest of all terms I've, I've come up with is fake. I guess other people have used it perhaps over the years, but I've never noticed it. <laughs> I invented the word fake. I also invented the words plurp, <laughs> puffin guffin, <laughs> and schnuggle pie. <laughs> just an idiot. He's also a liar. He lied about Russia, COVID, climate change. He is still claiming that Mexico is going to pay for his border wall. They aren't. He said that <laughs> windmills cause cancer. They don't. <laughs> I mean, Christ, listen to this madness. When I took over our military, we didn't have ammunition. <laughs> he reckons before him, the US Army had no bullets. <laughs> what were they doing in Afghanistan? Just pew, pew! <laughs> Watch out, it's the Air Force! Meeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
When Colin Kaepernick took a knee to protest for black rights, Trump said this. Get that son of a bitch off the field right now. Out. He's fired. He's fired! And when he wasn't attacking black people, he was accusing every Muslim of being a terrorist. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. They have no respect for human life. I want surveillance of certain mosques, okay? The only problem with that, Americans are more likely to be killed by lawnmowers than foreign terrorists. <laughs> Forget mosques, he should have banned streamers. <laughs> he should have built a wall around this place. <laughs> He's such a bigot. In fact, the only person who reckons Trump isn't racist is his own son. And his reason why was comedy gold. Donald Trump Jr. says his father cannot be racist because he let him hang out with Michael Jackson. <laughs> hang out with or hang out of? What? <laughs> what an excuse. How can my dad be racist? He let me hang out with Michael Jackson, Bill Cosby, <laughs> R. Kelly, all the good guys. <laughs> I've got to go. He's got me an art class with Rolf Harris. <laughs> now, <laughs> Whether you are pro-Trump or pro-Biden, one thing we can definitely say, it's been the weirdest election ever. Someone interviewed Forrest Gump. I'll probably vote for Donald Trump. <laughs> he keeps the people to the TV set. <laughs> one of Trump's fans took steroids. Sleepy Joe about to get destroyed by the Don, by the Don, Donnie! <laughs> And some of Biden's fans made you want to rip your ears off. Go Biden! Yeah, yeah. Go Biden! Biden's back, all right! <laughs> Even animals got involved. One was a Democrat. There you go, lovely stuff. <laughs> and one was a Republican. <laughs> At least the debates were good. I, I, I would have said sarcastic. So here's the Obamacare. I got rid of president. You would have been president. much later, Joe. Mr. But Mr. those states... You're the, the worst way, president Weiss. America has <laughs> ever had. Hey, hey. <laughs> Did you see the moment that Biden turned into Liam Neeson? Well, guess what, Mr. President? I'm coming for you. <laughs> Trump reacted by wanking off some invisible man. <laughs> <laughs> if only there was someone around who was better than both of them. What would you give to have him again? He should be in charge. Joe Biden should be in an old folks' home and Donald Trump should be in his garden mowing his lawn.